So Max has lost 38 points in three races with two DNFs due to engine issues. And it's not just Max. In Bahrain, Checo had an engine-induced Spinala and Gasly's car also got pretty toasty. So are all of these issues linked or is the Australian DNF a new issue? Let's get into it. First then, the issue in Bahrain was said to be a fuel lock that was brought on by a late safety car. If you've worked on older cars, you will know why this happens. It's essentially where vapor, either fuel vapor or air, gets trapped in the fuel system. And very often, this can completely block the fuel lines, which caused Max and Checo's engine to stop during the Bahrain Grand Prix. We expect this to be down to the new E10 fuel in these new cars, rather than a leaky pipe, which is typically what causes the same issue on older cars. And the E10 fuel really seems to be creating some issues for Red Bull powertrains. But really, it should be something they could fix pretty quickly. And when Max won in Saudi, we thought they had. Then in Australia, again from P2, Max's car lost power. It stopped and then a fire had to be put out by the marshals with some strict guidance from Fire Marshal Max. But fire at the back of the car did give us some information about what the issue was. And my first guess was potentially it was a hydraulic issue. It, it wasn't um, a problem with the, the engine, it, it, the smoke wasn't enough, it wasn't a problem with the radiators, there wasn't enough steam, um, it wasn't an oil leak, there wasn't a big enough fire, it wasn't violent enough. Uh, so my guess, along with many people, was that it was hydraulics. The hydraulics thing made sense. Max had a whole list of stuff changed in Park Fermi. Just take a look at this. The big bits being the auxiliary radiator, which Checo had also changed, and the entire gearbox hydraulic system. But looking harder, that theory didn't quite add up. Max had a loss of control over the car when it came to a stop. The power steering looked to be working and he was able to downshift. If this had been a hydraulic issue, Max would wouldn't have had power steering and the gear shift just wouldn't have worked. So Scarbs doesn't think that this is the cause. Straight after the race, Christian Horner and Helmut Marco both said it was a fuel problem. Marco went as far as to say it was a fuel leak. Now, when I first heard that, it was like, well, this didn't look like a fuel leak. Max had uh, a creeping problem over maybe the length of a lap. Um, there wasn't a huge fire. Um, it certainly didn't look like a, a major fuel fire. Even if you get a fuel fire inside the airbox, you tend to get a, you know, a lot more flames uh, than we saw there. But however, we can you know, take that as, as fact. They have the data. So what probably happened is that there is a, a fuel line which connects the fuel tank system to the high pressure pump on top of the engine. It's a small flexible pipe. It's only 10 centimeters long. It's a very short piece of um, uh, line there. And it takes about 10 bar pressure. And this has a quick connector into the back of the fuel tank and then bolts up to the high pressure pump, which takes the fuel pressure for the uh, direct injection system up to 500 bar beyond that. So it looks like a pretty simple part of the puzzle, but likely one that isn't playing nice with the new E10 fuel. At first, it didn't seem like this fuel switch was going to make a big difference, but looking at details like this, it's a bigger deal than we initially thought. Doesn't that all seem a bit trivial? A pipe failed. These are components that are all tested to levels that you wouldn't believe. So we can suspect that it maybe is that short length of pipe there that maybe it's popped out, the seals have failed. Uh, I doubt that the pipe itself has failed. It's probably maybe just a, uh, a finger error where it's, it's come out sometime. And there's been a small leak. I don't think this was a complete disconnection because Max would have stopped very rapidly. Um, so maybe it was just a little squirt of fuel came out. They could detect that the pressure drop was there on the telemetry. Max was feeling a reduction in power and there was enough fuel there to catch fire. So that's probably what's happened. Now, you would have thought that the teams were on top of this, but anyway, it's pretty aggressive stuff. Thanks for watching. You should check out this other video about why Formula One teams are really struggling to get down to the weight limit. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.